guys if you'd like to see how I use this template and these colours to create an awesome piece of autumn artwork, keep watching. Hey everyone, I am back today with this awesome autumn harvest top. I love, love autumn. If you saw my last video, you will know that I did um, a wreath in some beautiful autumn colours because I absolutely love autumn. It is my favourite season, hands down. Has Halloween in, which is also... Yeah, it is my favourite. Christmas is my second favourite holiday. We don't do Halloween properly in the UK and it really upsets me. I mean, it's going to be very different this year anyway, but... um, Yeah, I do love autumn. I love it. So much so that I have a tattoo that is falling leaves down my leg as yeah i'm gonna stop blabbering now so um we are really pleased that you can join us on this incredible autumn harvest top and i'm hoping that you'll get a real sort of sense of that warm autumn coziness it's what i always associate with autumn it's, it's warm it's cozy it's got some beautiful colors like the range of colors is just oh love it so yeah hopefully you will get that vibe from us and get some lovely autumn inspiration I do want to say that when you get round to or if you start the first stop if you start with me then you'll go round to Erin and when you stop on Erin's video please 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 say happy birthday to her because today is her birthday and that is awesome so happy birthday babe um if you would like to catch all of these videos then you can use the hashtag autumn harvest I'll put it on the screen now for you and that way you'll be able to find every single video in the hop um, and go through check all of the videos I know some people might be giving away prizes so you'll have to watch them to see if they are and yeah you know as I've said before we all love interacting with you so please 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 leave us comments give all the videos a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to everyone yet please consider subscribing there are some incredibly incredibly talented people on this hop so uh, let's get on now today I'm doing something that I've not done for a while but I absolutely love it and I'm going to give you a bit of a hint I have these half inch strips of orange card and they are different tones of orange and I love I love doing these so I'm going to give you those if any of you think that it's quilling nice idea but you're totally wrong i don't have the patience or the skills for that that is some incredible incredible patience and skill i do not have the skill for that we're going to be doing some iris it's called iris fold you know there's not really any fold in it but um i do love this you get such a really unique 3d look so i've chosen my colors i've got these four different oranges i've just cut four or five strips of each colour half an inch thick and this is the pattern I'm going to use I printed this off it came on two on a page this one was smaller than I wanted to do so I'm using this large one and I've just trimmed down my white paper to fit my desk and so you can see here it's got the numbers and I have used the same shape so I did the uh the old-fashioned technique I scribbled on the back turned it over went over it with a pencil so that the line is indented and I have cut the same shape out of this card base okay so this is going to be the front of my card I need to trim that bit off because that bit's a bit bent um, I don't know why that's sticking up like that there we go so this will be the front of the card and what I'm probably going to do is just stick this closed and just put a message on the back or maybe I'll stick this to something else I'm not 100% sure yet but this will be the front so you want to work from the back okay and I'm going to fix this directly over the pattern here and I've just got some purple tape I've taken off a lot of the sticky by sticking it to my trousers this stuff is absolutely brilliant but I do find that it can be too sticky and it can rip so I have you can see it's all curled up 
where I've added it and taken it off and I did stick it to my trousers to remove some of the sticking. Then all you do is you follow the numbers round in the pattern and you will get this really really unique look. If you've never seen an iris fold before um, do check it out. I mean I've got a whole board on Pinterest with um, free iris fold designs. I just think they're stunning. And it's so easy to do. It looks complex and when I first saw one I was like, um, what? It's really, really easy to do. So I'm going to walk through it with you. I am going to be using my art glitter glue because it is a quick drying glue. So I'm going to hopefully make sure that it is not blocked before we start. Because I've had another of videos where I've gone, oh, I'm going to use this glue and then it's been blocked because I uh, forgot to put the pin in. That seems like it's fairly mobile today. Good. So, I'm just trying to think. We're sort of going to have in the end-ish four diagonals. Um, so I'm trying to decide which way round I want these to go. I think we'll have this one coming on the bottom. So that be number two. That be number one. There we go. Just so that these are going to be the ones that come in at an angle. So, for example, you're all going to have 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, 27, all the same colour. So, this sort of curl will all be this arranged. 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 20, 20, will all be this curl. And I am going to, before I start now, pop a little bit of brown over the stem because I would like that in brown rather than in orange. So I'm literally just going to snip off a piece. We'll stick that on first. Is that enough to cover? Yeah, I'm going to trim these corners so that it sits nicely like that. Yes. <laughs> and we want it about there, I think. Perfect. did these long you can cut them shorter but I just thought I'd cut them long and cut them down two sides as I go. So starting with number one we need a piece that is about this long and all you do is pop the glue around like this and then lay it across so it matches that line. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have excess you can cut it off so like I can do that. If you want to you can leave it longer and cut it. Once you know you can figure it out however you feel like it. So let's do number two. I've got to remember to turn this paper over because it is textured on the back. So we want it to be about here. Again I'm just going to pop the glue around the sides this down like so. Number three is this one. So there. I'm just going to do a little bit more so I can show you or explain to you the next bit. So there's our number three and you just line it up with the black lines. Number four is over here. Okay. And then this is where it gets a little bit more interesting because you're not going all the way around the sides. 
and we want to do the ends and just a tiny bit along this piece you don't want it to splurge out of the sides and then we're gonna stick number four on like so five is this color <laughs> there is number five and if you don't line up with the black line perfectly it's really not a huge issue obviously it looks like the if you do but it's not you know not a disaster if you don't number six is here And with this, keep those little bits like that because that could be big enough for one of those centre triangular pieces. So then we're going to go like so, pop that on that line. Okay, I'm going to pop the rest of this on, speed up. I'm just going to put some music on so you can watch. You don't need to hear me go through it each time. Um, and then I'll come back to you at the end and show you the finished look. Enjoy!
curly dough curly so we're going to peel this off and we're going to have a look at where we're at i haven't done the center square yet because i wasn't sure what color i wanted so i wanted to see this completed what you've learned out there I wanted to see this complete and then take a look and see what which one of the um, four oranges I think would work best in the centre. Let me just trim this off. Okie dokies. So there is our pumpkin. If I grab all of the pieces of orange that I cut, I do have a little bit there but that's fine because I've got decorations to add on to this. So we could have that as the centre point. Hmm. We could have that. We could have that. We could have that. Hmm. I'm tempted by the darker one, I think. Maybe do this orange. Yeah, let's do this one. Hey guys, so we are back with our finished iris fold. So I've put a beautiful quote by Emily Bronte there, one of my favourite autumn quotes. I made some flowers using the same oranges that I did the pumpkin. A couple of multi-layer flowered, multi-layer flowered, multi-layer stamped apples. And then these beautiful little hazelnut flowers from 49th and Market. And I have just stuck the back to itself um, and I'm going to do this as sort of an art piece as opposed to a card. Put a little um, message on the back. I did heat emboss the same sentiment but larger, which I was going to put on the front but it was just too big. Um, but I really love the font on this one. So I might pop that on the back as well. But yeah, there is our iris fold. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video and the rest of the hop and you get some really awesome autumn inspiration. Um, as I said before, use the hashtag to find us. Watch everyone in the hop. Leave us all some comments. We love chatting to you. And if you haven't subscribed to everyone yet, please do. That's all from me today. So thank you very much for spending time with me today. Keep crafting, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.